Hi everybody, a um, little short video today. I'm going to explain and show how you can hook up an external microphone to the Sony HX90 or HX90V is the camera I've got. And I'll just be showing you how to, um, how to do that. As you know, you can't hook a microphone up onto it. But we'll see how it goes. As you know, we're not very um, long into this vlogging, but I'm Grandad and grandson is at school and now I'm going to explain all the bits that you need and show you how to do it. Right okay everybody this is uh, the camera that I'm actually using um, I've already put a couple of little uh, wind muffs on there but um, I'll probably be taking those off later on and I'll explain why that is as you know when you're out and about with these cameras and um, the mics are not that good and especially with the wind um, going down but anyway that's that's the camera I'm using um, it has got a flip screen which I'm showing you there so these are ideal for vlogging which is what uh, me and my grandson are up to so that's the camera let me just turn that one off now what I've actually done and I'm just going to refer to a couple of little notes um, I've actually gone out and got hold of a flash gun bracket holder arm and it's got a hot shoe on it which is there not that you actually need the hot shoe but a hot shoe and it's also got a sliding bit for underneath the camera that's the first bit I bought uh, just to show you these wind muffs they're called over covers and uh, that's them there Rycott over covers they are good actually they, they did stop the wind from uh, blowing around in the microphones um, but a lot better but now we're going to this external mic which hopefully will give us a lot better sound and the next thing I've got is a Rycott a video pro microphone and uh, with a wind muff on it that's just the cover to stop the wind noise but that's quite a good little um, microphone to go with this and the reason I got this one rather than uh, one of those long pointy ones is that I wanted to pick up some of the ambient sounds out and around um, because we are actually vlogging and we want to show a few more sights and also what's going on not just our own voices but that's the mic, uh, that's the mic we're using now as you know you can't plug that into the camera so I've then got a recorder which you can plug the external microphone into and this is called a, a Zoom HN1 and you can get the HN, I'm sorry, the H1N this is the H1 um, but they're, they're good re little recorders only take an AA battery and you can carry plenty of those around and I'll show you how that works as well and also I've got, um, these come from Small Rig. They are a quarter mile to quarter mile um, threaded screw adapter. And that will become evident soon. And the last thing I've actually got is a Gorilla Pod with a ball head on it. And I'll show you all this later on, but basically it's the ball head. And that's to fit everything on too. So let's make a start then. First of all, I'm going to screw this to the camera. Now I'm going to take my wind muffs off now because in post-production you can actually delete the camera sound. Uh, because this one's going on the recorder, so I don't actually need these on there now. Um, so I'm going to take them off. I will keep them, but um, they just look, it comes with sticky pads. In fact, I'll show you those in a minute. So that's the wind muffs. I'm going to put them to one side. Right, that's the camera. Before I forget, those wind muffs, just to show you. I 
they come in a pack of six of those that's the actual wind bits and they come with loads of these little stickers uh, two four six eight ten to a sheet and you've got three sheets of them and they're double-sided sticky uh, and they are sticky as well but uh, I should keep those because you never know they will probably come in handy for uh, some other microphones that I've got right so that's the first bit that I've screwed on now I'm going to screw the male adapter underneath here and that goes on there like that so that's just screwed on there like that okay next I'm going to put this microphone underneath and there's a little screw hole there for it to fit into so you screw that under there whoops Perhaps I should have done it before I put the screw on but anyway you can screw that on and obviously make it face the same way as the camera Let's see if I can get that to show you there we go so that's on there now like that then we get the microphone and we simply slide it on bear with me slide it on tighten it up now I'm gonna I'm just gonna wrap this around a couple of times because you don't want too much on there. So then in the back here is a line in microphone in, and believe it or not, you can actually plug in your headphones here to check that the uh, the sound is working okay. X Y configuration. I haven't yet got wind muffs or anything for this, but I am going to get them. Um, and this here underneath you can actually let me show you you can slide in and out I don't know if I showed you that very well actually but uh, in and out so you can add that out as far as you like right so that's the setup you're already there now before I put the gorilla pod on uh, I'll see if I can just get the camera up a little tiny bit for you you might better see this a bit better right so that's it all on there all together ah there we go that's better that's all on there now together right now what I suggest is because you're going to actually put this record in here which is on a little micro SD card on to your film when you actually start filming I would suggest that you either clap clap your hands if you can or make a couple of sounds like bang bang and then when you're in post-production with your two recordings you can see the peaks and you can line up the peak of the sound and that actually matches up then with with the video that you've actually made right then the last thing I'm going to do I'm just going to put this down a minute on this gorilla pod and these are brilliant actually because they they wrap anywhere they you know you can do this and you know everything you like with it all right and it also stands up as a tripod although you can't see the top of it right this has um, basically a quick release plate you actually push the plate like that take the plate out then you can screw it to the underneath here it's also got a spirit level on it, so I'm going to keep that to the back. I use a TP piece, but um, you can use whatever you like, obviously. I know it looks a bit awkward at the moment, but once it's all set up, it's brilliant. Right, that slides back on. Make sure it clips in. Clip. Turn it all round. Right now, I'm going to stop the video for a minute and I'm just going to put this up and I can show you. Okay guys, I'm back again and, and this basically is the whole setup. This ball head here, you can actually loosen it and carry it around like that. But I'm going to use it for vlogging. So this basically is what will happen. We'll uh, get the screen up like that. Let me turn it on so you can all see it. There we go and that's my other 
camera on the tripod, my R R7. And basically you can just pick this up like this, turn it round, and you have vlogging. So uh, hopefully that has all helped you. I'm going to put some uh, information on the video to say what products I've used and obviously you can search and look for them if you want. But great idea, it's a cheaper version than buying a eight, nine hundred pound camera that you can actually plug the mic into on the top and this will get us going and eventually we will save up and, and buy another camera. But for the time being, for the next year or so, this is going to be our main vlogging camera for granddad and grandson. So I hope you like the video. Any questions, stick them on there and I'll see if I can answer them. I'd also like to just thank uh, Vegan Voyagers who made a video of another type of camera with this type of setup and um, that's where I got the idea from and uh, I think it's a brilliant idea. So over and out. Right guys, I wasn't sure if uh, you could actually see that uh, the whole setup there, but I put it onto a tripod. You can actually wrap these uh, gorilla pods around trees so that the camera sits there like anything. They're, they're absolutely brilliant and I would strongly recommend them. You can get them in different sizes, but I, I went for the 3K one, um, which is a bit more sturdier with the ball head on it. You can get fixed ones for lighter weight if you like. But anyway, that's the setup. Obviously you set the recorder going. I'm gonna get the wind muffler the recorder um, so it doesn't make so much noise. And away we go. I've tried it out once outdoors, but what I'll try and do is when grandson and granddad get together again, which will be later on today, we will try and do an outdoor um, test for you. Um, I can film it on my A7 and uh, Jack can use this to uh, do it. So, so from granddad Kevin and grandson Jack, over and out. Hi right, guys, I just sort of come back and uh, show you what this gorilla pod can do. And um, there it is on the chair, all gripped around. I know it's not straight, but it was just a, an example to show you. Well, the other thing I wanted to mention was that um, the reason we got two microphones basically is the H1 you can actually record from an external microphone to it as well. And we're going to be using that one. I was a little bit wrong about uh, using the wind muff on the outside because we've got the one plugged into it. I don't use the H1 for recording, but I am going to try and experiment. As soon as I get the wind muff for the H1, I'm going to take the external microphone off the Rode Video uh, Mic Pro and I'm just going to try it with the H1. When I do, we would put some samples up and uh, see how it goes. But I thought I'd just let you know that that's what this Gorilla Pod does. It can wrap around nearly anything and use it as a tripod as well. Brilliant. And I should be using that, I hope, when Jack, the grandson, is not using it on my R7 to uh, carry it around as well. So hopefully that explains it all. Until the next time, over and out.